Hello students, welcome to the YouTube channel Eternal Easy Education. In this session, you are going to learn Chapter 6, Control Structures. Today you are going to learn Sequential, Alternative or Branching. Let's start the session. First of all, why we need control structure in our program? Programs may contain set of statements. Simply, a program is a set of instruction. In general, statements are executed sequentially. That is, the statements are executed one after another, one by one. If a program is having 20 lines, first line, then next line, then next line. Likewise, all the lines are executed in an order sequentially. There may be situations in our real life programming where we need to skip a seg segment or set of statements and execute another segment based on the test of a condition. That is, in a real time, there may be some situations like if we are getting your student age, if the age is less than 18, then we have to say not eligible for voting. If the age is more than 18, we can say that that person is eligible for voting. So there may be some situations to check a condition and then execute a statement. This is called alternative or branching statement because based on the condition the flow takes a diversion that is branching also we need we may need to execute a set of statements multiple times called iteration or looping do you remember the fibnosis series there will be two numbers zero one addition of zero one one 1 and the previous number is 1 then again it is 2 so you might remember that uh, addition of two numbers is done repeatedly so in that situation the working principle is said to be iteration or looping is it clear children why we are going to the concept of control structure most probably the program will execute sequentially but to handle real-time requirement while writing the program, we need to use alternative or branching type or iteration or looping type. Control structure. A program statement that causes, that causes a jump of control from one part of the program to another is called control structure or control statement because this only controlling the flow of program statements so it is called the controlling structure three types sequential alternative or branching iterative or looping a sequential statement is composed of sequence of statements which are executed one after another Alternative. In our day-to-day -day life, we need to take various decisions and choose an alternative path to achieve our goal. Maybe we would have taken an alternative route to reach our destination when we find the usual road by which we travel is blocked. These are the things that are happening in our daily life. Do you remember, while we are learning object-oriented programming, they will say it is real-time problem solving techniques because in real time our problem are different so based on the problem we have to make a algorithm based on that algorithm the program language is able to support and only it is said to be object oriented programming in alternative and branching alternative or branching statement are of three types Simple if statement, if else statement, if else if statement. We will see one by one. What are simple if statement? Simple if 
is the simplest of all decision making statements. Condition should be in the form of relational or logical expression. That means if it's a keyword, after that we have to give the condition. The condition may be a relational or a logical expression followed by a colon. Below that we have to write the statements. If the given condition is true, the statement below the if will be executed. That is the working nature of if statement. Here will be only one condition is checked and if the condition is true, below the statements are executed. If the condition is false, nothing will be executed. This is one type. Next one is if else statement. The if else statement provides control to check the true block as well as the false block. That means if condition, then statement, then there is a keyword else, then a statement. How it works? If the given condition is true, the statement block 1 is executed. If the condition is false, it will execute the statement block 2 which is under else. So, in this type, we may get two output based on one condition. If the condition is true, one statement, one set of statement is executed. If the condition is false, another set of statements are executed. So, we can have two types of output. Here, there is a flow chart. Here, there is a condition. If the condition is true, statement block 1 is executed and moves to the next step. If the condition is false, it will move to the statement block 2 and move to the next step. There comes another thing, if else if else when we need to construct a chain of if statement then if else class can be used instead of else we'll see the working principle if condition statement block one else if see the spelling here it uh, it is little different then condition two then else uh, another statements of block n it, the block n represents in a program we can have any number of else if statement if is only one followed by a condition if the condition is false it will move to the next else if it will check this condition if the condition is false then it will move to the next else if condition likewise it will check all the conditions if all the given conditions are false then it will execute the else part. This is the working principle of else if else if else. What is the advantage means I can check any number of condition using this control structure. This is the working nature or flow chart. First if condition is checked. If it is true it will execute the body of if or else it will go to the next uh, condition which is present in else if it will check the condition if it is true it will execute the else if block if the condition in the else if block is false then it will move to the else block then it if all the conditions are false then it will execute the else part now see the example for if statement x equal to int of input enter your age if there is a space x greater than equal to 18 followed by a colon then there is a space this is very very important because indentation is used in python in c plus plus we will use a curly brace here no curly braces are there for blocks that means if we can have a if block within curly brace, else block within a curly brace. But here only spaces are allowed. So leaving space is much cared by Python. Now run it. As the given value is, enter your age. I'll give an age. So you are eligible for voting. 
again we'll run if the age is 17 no output because here there is no statements to execute only the statement uh, gets executed if the condition is true if it is false i need a statement to say that the person is not eligible for voting so in this uh, situation we have to select if else if block sorry if else block we'll check i'm taking the space now see it will say an error can you able to see expected and intent block so if we start with the condition then the statement which is coming under that condition should be moved a little space is it clear children now we'll see an example for if else statement so getting a input from the user if a percentage 2 that is modulus 2 equal to equal to 0 if the a is divided by 2 then the given number is even number or, or else it is odd number so run the module enter the number 44 it is a even number if you run again it will ask again a number So it is a odd number. Is it easy? You have to be careful about if condition followed by colon, else also followed by colon. Then there must be a space between the condition and the statement. It should be indented. Is it clear, children? Now see this example program for if else if. We are getting two numbers: first subject, second subject. M1 plus M2 by 2. That is average. If average is greater than 80, print grade A. Else, if average is greater than 70 but less than 80, means grade B. If average is greater than 60, less than 70, grade C. So, we are having four else if statements. Finally, it is else statement. So 68, 40. So D grade. You understand the point? How it is moving? How it is checking the condition? If followed by condition colon, else if followed by condition colon. All the conditions are having the end line as colon, else also having one colon. These are all syntax. and it is important if you miss any colon then it will say error so we have learned the alternative or branching statements if if else if else if statements with examples so indentation the two blocks of code in our example if statement are both indented four spaces which is a typical amount of indentation for python that means they are saying the if else statement is having four spaces but it's not four we can have even one space but there must be a space in most other programming languages indentation is used only to keep to help make the code look pretty we we'll used to say that uh, align you make give some space when you enter into the curly brace then only the program will look nice but actually the c++ compiler will not consider these things if you type a program of 200 line from left to right without any enter key or one by one if uh, without typing one by one if you write in a sleeping line it won't say an say any error because it will consider the curly brace or open brace close brace semicolon because semicolon is the termination of a line in c++ but python is little different but it is easy when we compared with c++ but in python it is required to indicate to which block of code the statement belongs to by giving the space 